Hey two-wheeled friends, welcome back for another shadow day! And look who is on the Honda Shadow today! It's me! We have Mrs. Two-wheeled on the Honda Shadow and this is something new we are out doing. So let's roll the intro. We'll be back to talk a little bit about Molly, Mrs. Two-wheeled's riding experience. Granny cornering this. <laughs> I noticed we got car <laughs> car coming up behind us too. They can just be patient. Oh wait, it doesn't work that way, does it? No, I don't think so. So welcome back two-wheeled friends. As you can see, I am shadowing. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Was that pun intended? That is, I think. I am following behind my wife. This is her second time riding the Honda Shadow on the street. She took her motorcycle safety course a couple weeks ago. She rode the little 250s and decided she wanted to get on a little bit bigger bike and learn. So here we are. It's a little bit different shadow day, but I'm uh, I'm very proud of what is going on in front of me here. Molly is doing very well. And I I am very fortunate we have this Bluetooth communication because I am able to communicate directly with her and help give her a few pointers as she rides. So I don't know if there's anything that you would like to kind of chat about in these these stretches where you don't have to concentrate quite as much. You know, no matter what, I'm concentrating way too much. <laughs> yeah. You know, I never said just you know, don't get in your head, don't be in your head, just just be with the bike and, mm -hmm. and that's really like my biggest problem is that I am totally in my head and I just need to kind of let go. Yeah, a lot of it, you know, just relax, have fun. Uh, so what we discovered last night when we were out on the first trip on the Honda Shadow is the taking off. Uh, the Honda Shadow is a little bit tricky. You know, the I, I know that carburetor needs to be tuned a little. And some bikes you can take off just letting the clutch out. You don't really have to give it much gas. But that Honda, you got to give it a little bit of gas. So she might not like me telling you this, but she does stall it a few times. Just it's about learning what's it's inevitable. Yeah, what's too much throttle and what's not enough. But I think she'll get it. The hills were kind of the the worst. So to add to the story, we were at a thankfully a four-way blinking red light. And it stalled once, twice, three times, and then what was it? Finally the fourth time I just walked it over and catch my breath because I was getting frustrated and yeah and we had uh we had this super nice gal to our right and and here's Mrs. Two-Wheeled kind of waving her like ah go ahead because yeah, I'm so. yeah, like I'm new and and I want you to go and she's like no that's okay and she's like waving us and then the stalling happened and That's okay. Is this the same person? I think so. That was not who we thought it was. Nope, I don't think so. No. Nope. So by the time we got going, what were we, about eight feet out into the intersection <laughs> and had yeah. vehicles on all four sides, but yeah. you know what, uh, we're, we're out learning and and we'll spend some time in a parking lot working on that taking off and all that too but kind of thought with me being able to tail 
tail molly a little bit that you know it just it's a good time to do it and kind of watch watch and give those pointers and then i can i don't want to say be a blocker but yeah give a little cushion to hopefully help you feel a little more comfortable so you don't yeah. feel like you have a car riding up your tail end yeah that i think for like yesterday that was the most like nerve-wracking was like oh there's a vehicle behind me if the speed limit's 45 i'm only going 35 because that's all that i'm comfortable with yeah you know and then i know you know you just gotta go with the traffic but i just i i probably bit off more than i could chew yesterday so like this going around the lake like this, i like this this is nice it's easy i don't want to easy but yep it's it's simple yeah it's 25 miles an hour you could I'm, kick it up just a little bit more if yeah, you're comfortable I, didn't realize I was going 20. yeah you're probably bogging that gear a little there i'll go up a little bit you should be able to be in second gear i think i was in second gear second third at that speed yeah. third will kind of bog a little but second it'll sound like you're wrapping it out but it, it's okay it's okay yeah you just don't want to be going 50 in no, that gear no. so well and so that i mean that's another thing so i'm not 100 percent cultured i guess you would say when it comes to a manual transmission yeah i've i've had some exposure but like the manual shifting, the clutching, that type, that, all that factored in. My mind is just going haywire because I'm trying to, like, how does this all work? And, and how is my hand supposed to work with it? You know, and so I just, my mind's just like going a mile, you know, a mile a minute or a hundred miles a minute at that. <laughs> so is this road closed up here that we got to turn? Apparently. I wonder why. It says road closed to through traffic so i don't know i haven't been out here for a little bit so that kind of kills our going around going around the lake let's do it <laughs> well there's a reason it says closed to through well, traffic it must we're, be we're gonna investigate dustin <laughs> okay <laughs> so that's good that you touched on that a little bit of the you know you're not cultured to the whole manual transmission so why don't you just go ahead and tell us a little bit about what inspired you to take that safety course and what has you riding the Honda Shadow today? Okay, so part one, my husband kept asking me when I was going to start learning to ride. Hey, I told you no. <laughs> I told you no pressure. <laughs> I know. Hey, that was Jake. <laughs> I don't know if you saw him. Anyway. You know, I, I see our neighbors going out and about, and watch out, we got a hose right here. And it, it, it's it's just kind of been one of those thoughts in the back of my, my mind, like, can I do that? Am I capable of doing it? And I just was like, you know what? When the opportunity comes up, I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it, and I'm gonna try it out, and if I don't like it, I don't like it but I'm at least going to try something. Can Come. I turn around in this person's driveway? Yep, I was going to tell you. I didn't want to interrupt you, though. Just... Um, so, so I did the course, and I got flustered, like really flustered. I'm going to walk this a little bit. Yeah, so just, stop. yeah, go ahead and just stop talking, and we'll cut, we we'll cut here. I did the course and I just, I got day one on the, on the track, I just got really flustered and because I kept, I kept stalling the bike, shocker. And after the, it was, it was that night and you know, you Dustin, you had mentioned, well, do you want to come 
manipulate, or not manipulate, but maneuver the, that bike so much better than these itty bitty little ones. Cause so, you know, I know Dustin shared that I'm 5'10 and I'm crunched up on this tiny little itty bitty bike. Yeah, the little 250s. Yeah. And I was wearing steel, my steel toe boots, you know, cause That's how I was too like you know I had ridden around kind of like you are for I don't know what was it like two or three weeks before I actually took the course just to get familiar with the bike and when I got on that little 250 it's like I mean it was almost like a toy and it was just it was weird because being so tall on it and so the Honda to me was way easier to ride than a little 250. Yeah and, and this is much easier to ride than that little 250. Yeah so obviously you're a beginner motorcycle rider uh and i've done videos and i've done videos of how the honda shadow is a good beginner motorcycle what's yeah. what's your input on it what how do you feel um if yeah i mean if you're 510 it's a it's a good bike okay um hold on let me Yep, there you go. You gave it a little bit more gas, didn't you? <laughs> I told you, like, okay, so going back to, you know, when I was doing my, my track stuff, <laughs> I, when we were practicing, I told Dustin, I was like, can you just, you know, can we just connect the Senna's and we can talk to each other? You know, you can hide out in the building, you know, and just be like, Molly, just go, just go, because that's that's really what I needed with somebody just to be like, just Molly, Molly, just gas it, just go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so sorry, what, what was the question? Oh, I, I was going to say, you could be in third gear right now and, and go in 30 if you're comfortable with it. I, didn't, I couldn't remember what the speed limit was. Yep. What is it? It's 30. Is it? Okay. Yeah, it changes to 45 up here. Okay. So, I don't know if I had a, a different question, but... Oh, it was, um, it was big, about your YouTube video. Oh yeah, yeah. I've done some different, you know, like five reasons the Honda Shadow is a good beginner motorcycle, and you know, just a few. I, I make a lot of comments, and I I get a lot of comments below a lot of those videos saying, you know, thank you for doing this video. It's inspired me to get a Honda, or I have a Honda, and I agree, it's great. And and I know there's a lot of different Honda motorcycles, but specifically. This is a Honda Shadow Spirit 750. Right. Now I know there's Honda Shadow 750s as well, but this is the Spirit. It's got that 21 inch front wheel. Uh, it's shaft driven. Uh, that shaft driven motorcycle does handle a little bit differently. Uh, well, gearing wise than like a chain or, or belt driven motorcycle too, so. But we're just out kind of practicing in some areas. We know there's not a lot of traffic. Uh, I don't want to put too much pressure on Mrs. Two-Wheeled. <laughs> that is official. Say, since we're bringing that up, okay. I know a lot of you guys follow me on this channel. You follow me on Facebook or Instagram. But go over to Instagram, find Mrs. Two wheeled and follow her and show her some love uh, we'll work on getting some pictures on there and you guys can watch her journey basically from start yeah from the very beginning i mean you guys are seeing this <laughs> like i said second day on the road not a lot of practice and hopefully any of you new riders male or female can be inspired by watching molly and and uh, 
how well she's doing. She's making me proud. I never, if you would have asked me three years ago when I was riding that Honda Shadow, if I thought that my wife and I would be riding motorcycle separately uh, together, I would have never imagined that in a lifetime. I, I just never thought that Molly would pick the passion up quite like I did. I always thought, you know, she'd be on the pillion and, you know, which I enjoy too. We, we like traveling together and, but this is just another step in the adventure. So you guys will see a lot of shadow days. Well, I, maybe I should let Molly say it, but I think Molly is committed. She wants to learn. She's eager to get out and learn. Uh, so I think it's fair for me to say you'll probably see more future shadow days with with Molly on the on the uh, saddle of the, the Honda Shadow. So, so do I get to say it's shadow day? <laughs> well, maybe next time we can. How's that? Okay. We're gonna go right. Oh, we're gonna go right. I'm not we're used to right. turning right here. I know. So before as we're turning right here we should probably just close this video up okay i think we got our time limit here so any closing words while we're waiting for this car i hate accelerating up a hill <laughs> but i'm gonna do it and if you want to wait to see where this white pickup's I, going that's yeah, perfectly I'm fine for the pickup. okay i don't trust people in this intersection so if you are new to the channel and like watching motorcycle related content, you like watching a new beginner rider, go ahead and go down and click that subscribe button. Ring the bell for future uploads and activities. Give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to go to Instagram, follow Mrs. Two Wheeled. Give her some love. We will pull over somewhere. We'll throw a photo of this night on Instagram and just give her some love. And while you're at it, you want to follow, you want to follow me, of course, because <laughs> some things might not make it on, on Mrs. Two Wheeled, but, uh, <laughs> but thank you for watching. We appreciate you being here and watching us through this amazing motorcycle adventure. You guys are awesome. This is an awesome community. And I don't know, maybe I'm feeling a little bit sentimental right now, but we, as this community keeps growing, we are at, at the time of recording, I think this channel's at over 750 subscribers. So let's say that. And it's you guys coming back week after week, watching, leaving your comments that helps drive this channel to keep going forward. And with, with a little bit of watery eyes, you can't see it because the camera is on Molly looking at her, but I want to say thank you for being here. So I appreciate it. With that, peace out two wheeled friends, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.